road here has been barricaded. But as you can see, uh, people are being allowed to cross here. But um, once the case uh, begins, or once phase two of uh, the petition begins it, uh, at 7 p.m., that is uh, uh, the pre-trial conference, it means that this road will not be accessible to people uh, or, or Kenyans or Nairobians who will be crossing here, uh, who are crossing here right now, um, beginning 7 p.m., they will not be allowed. It's not just this, this one. Uh, there is uh, the way, uh, City Hall way, uh, we're, we're coming from Tomboya, uh, passing here, uh, uh, past the City Hall. Uh, those roads have also been barricaded. But uh, as I told you earlier, Vicky, uh, this is just um, a pre, a, a, a pre uh, preparation for the uh, pre-trial conference. Remember, uh, it begins at 7 p.m. As I told you, it's phase two or the second phase of the legal battle uh, over the presidential election results. Uh, and here, remember uh, the case that was presented by Raila Odinga. The question will be whether the anomaly that were cited in the data forms, that is forms 34A and 34B, will be enough to alter the vote uh, outcome. Uh, so that will be a very key uh, question when, uh, as the case begins in the, uh, in the evening. But also another question that will be put to, um, or uh, the question that uh, will be emanating from this petition is uh, the question of whether there was an abuse of office by President Uhuru Kenyatta. And number three, whether IEBC should hand over the scrutiny of uh, 40,300 or 883 kits that were used to identify voters and transmit results, um, and as well as the servers that were used by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission 